Yeah. Yeah. Right in time. Right in time. Yep. Did you know you were sick? Like, yeah. And you were fine. Once I once I turned my head back a bit. I don't usually do that, but yeah. I was like, if I'm, I mean, there's no sense in trying to catch up to that pack if I don't yeah. have to. Yeah. I'm okay. trying to get by cheaply. I and only get three days before the final. And then get you know, I was wondering about that. I guess there's. It was because there was a shorter period of time between the men's ten and the men's five, the prelim. Okay, but not everybody doubles, so right. I don't know. Yeah, that's a great question. I don't know if it mimics the Olympic schedule or what. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've got the family here. Family's here. Whole family. Uh, sisters? sisters are not this time. Just parents. They're holding down that fort at home. Yeah. Yeah. Grandparents or no? No. No grandparents. No. Grandparents. Okay. no that would be a long trip for her. <laughs> yeah. You know. She lives at home. Yeah. 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 With us. Okay. So, All right. So, so yeah, no. we see her a lot. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So cool. You're going out to cheer for. Um, Corey. Absolutely, wouldn't miss it. Got okay. time to cool down and yeah. regroup and then see her. Cool. I'm excited. All right, great. Well, that's the last Thank you, Sarah. How, how was the, the prelim today? It was good. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly am not really, I don't know what my time was. I know it was probably 15. 15 29. 29? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was like 15 40. <laughs> um, so, yeah, faster than 2012 for sure, but that tends to happen in the second heat. Um, especially when you got you know Molly in there, um, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm just gonna put my feet up and chill and you know really engage now in the final. What um, what's your game plan going into the final? Obviously, we're still a couple days away now. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah, just to give myself an opportunity. I'm so thankful for. I mean, the season just played out so differently than I would have imagined and would have planned, but um, how, how so? that happens. I just wasn't able to, got a little bit um, dinged up and wasn't able to race at all in May. Um, you know, didn't start until like June 12th or something. So I had a strong base, you know, from the winter and late fall. Um, so that doesn't go away. And I had to, you know, be confident in that and just confident that, like, you know. No, it's just gonna say the, the plan is not always mine, you know. Like, and I just have to roll with it, and that's the only thing that I can control. So, I just wanted to like go out there with gratitude and race out of love, and not like fear because of what's happened this spring. So you knew you were on the qualifier pretty comfortable, but yeah. Does it mess with your confidence to see those five girls ahead of you, or are you just trying to save energy? Like, um, I was definitely focused on conserving. You know, I don't, I don't know if I've ever looked behind me in a race before, but I did today. Um, you know, Mark and I talked about that. Like, try to just get by cheaply, and there was nobody. I don't think on my shoulder. So, um, I mean, the last K, I think, is hard for everyone. You know, you gotta really grind. Um, so, but but it's so it was so clear that everyone was really trying to conserve. And is a weird like, sense of maybe Molly, if they may, I'd say Molly mm -hmm. and Emily were top two, they might not go, so fifth might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That be, yeah, that's super interesting. I don't remember that happening in 2012. So that just goes to show you gotta run through the line no matter where you are. Um, you always run through the line, but especially, you know, like you, you kind of go four years thinking top three, top three, top three. But um, that's different for sure this year. So just got to stay awake and believe no matter where you are because who knows what the, their decisions are going to be if they're up there again.